they don't tip white people, LOL. That's the horrible racist message Brandy Shira saw on her phone when her friend Nathan Bergeron sent her a picture of the receipt a couple left him during his shift at On the Border Mexican Grill. I was absolutely devastated and so sad for him. And to make matters worse, Brandy says Nathan sleeps in his car in the parking lot and he's working to get money for an apartment. I've seen Nathan. He's counting his dollars and trying to add it up to see if he's got gas to make it to work the next day. He's not going to tell you how it really makes him feel. He's just going to be hoping that he has a couch to sleep on the next day. I asked her, did Nathan mention anything about how the couple treated him? His response was the lady was actually really nice. It could have been the boyfriend or husband that was with her that wrote it. Uh, and he said it happens. People don't want to tip. They don't have to. Brainy tells me she posted the receipt on Facebook, hoping people would send words of encouragement. But most asked if they could donate money, which prompted her to start this GoFundMe for Nathan that's reached over $1,000. I feel like this happens a lot more than what it should, whether you're black or you're white or you're young or old. Um, I feel like this happens a lot where servers are really underappreciated. You don't have to tip if you don't want to, but to not tip because of how somebody looks is not right. Yeah, and we reached out to management at On the Border, and they sent us this statement saying, quote, we're always going to take care of our employees and have their back. 